Welcome to the 2021st Cloud Straight Problem Based Learning Medical Talk Show event. My name is Tan Pru and uh, I'm a medical doctor in neurology. And in this video, uh, I'll be presenting Alzheimer's disease. So here's the content. Um, in the first half of the video, I'll, we'll have a case study in which I'll present the case, some of the clinical keys, the examination of the patient, and also the progress. And next, uh, I'll introduce some important literature in Alzheimer's disease, which are the epidemiology, pathology, clinical presentation, and finally, the diagnosis and uh, treatment. So uh, this is a 75-year-old man who was lost while driving to his daughter's house, and he was subsequently referred for cognitive evaluation. So when seeing the doctor, the patient um, stated that he has no specific complaints and saying that he only came because um, his family members were uh, worried about his increasing short-term memory loss. Um, he does admit that he sometimes forgets people's names and he has trouble finding words when he speaks to other people. However, we can see that his wife gives a more serious story. Uh, she said that the patient's mentation has been declining progressively. Uh, two to three years earlier, he started to forget friends, neighbor's name. Um, one year earlier, he made a misstep with bills. He gave up playing bridge and reading. And in one particularly distressing occasion, he, uh, he lost his wallet and he accuses his wife of taking it. And uh, within the past six months while driving, he's had have, uh, trouble looking for his way around the town. So after knowing the history, so which disease do you think that this patient suffers from? And you see that uh, this is a very typical presentation of a patient with Alzheimer's disease. So among famous people afflicted with this disease um, is the 40 US president, Ronald Reagan, who served uh, from 1981 to 1989. And um, five years after he left the White House, uh, so in 1994, he announced to the public that he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. So here are some of the important clinical keys. Uh, the following questions, um, uh, so the first one is that, how do you know if a patient has mental disease or not? And if he does, uh, is it dementia or other diseases? The third question is more uh, on the neuroscientific aspect. So how are memories formed and maintained? Um, what is Alzheimer's disease and what are some of its causes? And finally, what is the treatment for dementia and can its progression be stopped? Now we'll look at more of the physical and neuropsychological examination of the patients. So he appears well, uh, he has a good mood and his affect is appropriate. He's also fully awake and alert. But however, on the MMSE, which is the Minimental Status Examination, he scored only 18 over 30 and he lost points on the orientation items in which you, you, we usually ask the date, um, season, country, and the city, and things like that. Uh, all three memory items in which we uh, ask the patients to remember three items, uh, such as apple, table, and penny. Uh, the serial seven subtractions, so we ask the patients to subtract seven from uh, 100 and then repeat the results five times. So you have um, 100 minus 7 is 93, and then 93 minus 7 is 86, and so on. And the final one is the intersecting pentagon figure, which tests for the visual and sp spatial skills. Um, the remaining neurologic examination of the patient was normal, and his brain MRI shows uh, mild and diffuse atrophy uh, of the whole brain, some microvascular changes, and two chronic strokes. Some of the other test results that doctors usually evaluate in patients with suspected dementia are thyroid, vitamin B12, folate, uh, rapid plasma reactions, um, in which were all normal in this patient. So now we'll see how the patient progress. So um, initially, donepazin uh, and memantine were prescribed. Uh, we'll learn more about this medication later on in the video. Um, the patient's MMSE scores remain uh, relatively stable over the next three years. Um, during this period, he is more engaged, more outgoing. Um, he was also enrolled in a day program for four days per week. However, um, four years later, there's a gradual decline in the daily activities. So the patient now uh, needs help with his personal hygiene and with dressing, and his MMSE score is 12 over 30. 
And finally, uh, after 10 years, uh, after the disease onset, he was, um, he, he was put in a nursing home. So in the second half of the video, we would look at some of the very basic information about Alzheimer's disease. So it is the most common cause of dementia in adults. And um, after the 65 years of age, the risk of uh, Alzheimer's disease increased doubles every five years. So age is a very significant risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. And um, more than half of the population uh, with age 85 years old and older are suffering from Alzheimer's disease. And um, in many cases, diagnosis is delayed until a very late stage. So that's when uh, the caregiver stress is very high. And also there remains um, limited treatment options left for the patients. Um, but for logically, patients with Alzheimer's disease have very striking atrophy of the whole cerebrum, but uh, most prominent in the frontal, temporal, and parietal cortex. Two classic findings are the amyloid plaques, also called the sinoid plaques that you can see right here, and also the neurofibrillary tangles. Um, clinically, Alzheimer's disease uh, presents in three stages. So memory loss is often the very first sign. Patient forgets uh, important information like where they put their checkbook um, and uh, important events. Uh, later on, their uh, cognitive declines happens more globally. However, their personality is still relatively intact. And in the terminal phase, they have uh, disorders in social behavior, self-care. So the patient becomes incontinent and very dependent on family members. To diagnose if patients have Alzheimer's disease, uh, doctors look at the history and see if the symptoms are of gradual onset and progress insidiously, especially if it is an anterograde amnesia. Neuropsychologic examination typically reviews um, short-term memory impairment. And finally, imaging studies will show the loss of vulnerable brain regions like the, the hippocampus. So currently, um, cholinesterase inhibitors and memantine are the only two approved drugs for Alzheimer's disease. Um, cholinesterase inhibitors uh, target the acetylcholine uh, deficits arising from the loss of neurons uh, of, in the nucleus basal of Maynard. Sadly, no prevention uh, for Alzheimer's disease is available yet, although limited evidence suggests that a healthy diet, physical exercise, and uh, stimulating cognitive leisure activities uh, could be beneficial. So uh, that's the end of my talk. Hopefully you were able to learn a bit about Alzheimer's disease and thank you very much for listening.